stress. Janet and Scott, I'm joined once again by Dr. Timothy Thibodeau from Nazareth College. Tim, you watched the Pope's address to Congress. You couldn't help but notice everyone appeared unified. This is something we never see in D.C. Can you explain the significance of that? Well, it, regardless of what you and I say, history was made today. This one's in the history books. But when you consider that the Vice President of the United States, who's a Democrat, who's a Roman Catholic, the Speaker of the House, uh, who's a Republican as a Roman Catholic, is watching the Pope, the leader of the Catholic Church, speaking in, in the uh, chambers of the House of Representatives. That's historic. And I think it was the aspirational goal of the Pope and of Speaker Boehner to have some symbol of unity at a time when politics are so bitter and there's such division in the country. Yeah, absolutely. Pope Francis covered a lot of topics in his address. Do you think his message resonated with every one of those lawmakers, even those who are not Catholic? Yes and no. I think there's, there's criticism coming from people that are more traditional Catholic and more conservative politically that there were things that they expected him to say that he did. I think whether or not one is Catholic, it's certainly many of the things he said uh, as aspirational goals again resonate with President Obama's domestic policy agenda and also his international policy agenda. It seems as if uh, the, the Pope's reminder of the golden rule is really what resonated with most of our lawmakers, at least the lawmakers that I spoke with shortly after that address. That is another wonderful aspirational goal, but in a world that is afflicted with terrorism, when we look at what's going on in the Middle East with ISIS or ISIL, and the depredation and the death and the dis destruction these people are bringing, um, I think we have to make a distinction between aspirations or ideals and the reality of governing nation states that can be at war with each other and have so much conflict. You bring up ISIS, but it was not discussed today. That's correct. Uh, but tomorrow he addresses the United Nations. Do you expect that to be a, a topic? Uh, yeah, I think, you know, in, in fairness to him, we don't know what he's going to say tomorrow, but I think that would be the venue to address these international crises. Uh, he was really speaking to the American people, the American public, and it seemed to be focused more on domestic policies in the United States. I think tomorrow he'll have a more global outlook and maybe more outreach to that constituency. All right, and we're looking forward to your insight on that as well. Thank you so much. And coming up, we'll be taking another look at politics in Pope Francis on News 10 NBC at 7. We hope that you'll join